all right everyone uh good day and welcome to my youtube channel at illumination hub ng kindly subscribe to my youtube channel and also click on the notification bell so that whenever i drop a new video you can be notified so today we're going to be looking at bash course in and i want to treat, I want to treat this question within the next 15 minutes okay so the call the question says that um from the following information as a course accountant required to prepare a bash cost sheet to show the unit cost of making a component in batches of 5500 and 1000 components the management is interested in the information to determine the economic batch size and to decide whether to buy or make from a supplier material is 0.25 naira for every five components labor is 1 naira 20 cover for every 10 components produced per hour factory overhead cost is recovered based on half of the labor cost okay now uh, part of the material cost is direct expenses on production which is 20 percent of the cost incurred okay also, it is the policy of the organization to uh, charge a margin on sales at uh, 20%. Okay, so you are required to determine the prime cost of, for the batches, determine the total production cost by batches, determine the quoted price by batches, and also determine the cost price per unit, selling price per unit, and uh, profit per unit. Okay, let us try and see what we can do about this. So, I have here, so we have the workings. So, let us go ahead and do the working. So, we have bashes of 50, 500, and 1000. Okay, so let us first start with material. Okay, so let's go ahead. Number one, material. So we're told in the question the material is 0 0.25, the cost is 0 0.25 cobo, only at 25 cobo for every five components. So mean that for every five components, so how many five components can we see in 50? Okay, we can see uh, 50, that will be equals to. 50 all over 5 okay over 5 which is going to give us 10 or 10 okay so that is in 10 places okay so uh, we have 500 over 5 we, we're going to get 100 okay and 1000 batches over 5 so we're going to get uh 200 okay so then the cost equals to the cost equals to 0 0.25 multiplied by 10 0 naira 25 cobo multiplied 25 cobo multiplied by 100 and 0 0.25 combo multiplied by 200 okay so this is going to give us 2.5 2 nera 50 combo okay this is going to give us 25 25 nera and this is going to give us 50 nera okay we are right so that should be 50 nera okay so it means that the cost of material for the components in the 50 batches is 250 cobo uh, for 500 batches what uh, 25 naira and for 1000 batches what is uh, 50 naira okay so that is for number one number two number two we were told that labor is one in 20 cobo for every 10 components produced per hour then for every hour 10 components are being produced okay so let us now look at the first one labor labor which is cost of 50 all over 10 so this is going to give us five hours so it will take us five hours the next one is 500 all over 10 this is going to give us 50 hours and uh, 1000 all over 10 this is going to give us 100 hours okay 100 hours so the cost per hour is one error 20 cover times 5 is equals to what 6 error 6 error 1 error 20 cover times 50 we give us 60 16 error okay and 1 error 20 cover times 100 give us 120 naira okay 120 naira 
Okay, good. That is good. So that's for labor. That is for labor cost. So we are given a factory. We are given factory overhead. Factory overhead cost is equal based on half of the labor cost. Okay. The question says that factory overhead. That is uh, over three over head. Over head is based on half of the uh, based on half of the labor cost. Okay, factory over head cost is recovered based on half of the labor cost. So that is the cost of factory over head is should be at half of the labor cost. Okay, this is equal to six over two. So which is cost of three naira. Okay. Uh, 60 error uh, over 2, which will give us 13 error, and 120 in error over 2 will give us 16 error. Okay, so that's the value cost. So, for number 4, we're told that uh, part of the material cost is direct expenses on production, which is 20% of the cost employed. So, meaning that this material cost is uh we have uh direct expenses involved direct expenses direct expenses okay equals to 20 percent of this cost the cost that we have here that would be for so let me just move this up a bit okay so for direct expenses for batch the 50 uh 50 batches okay so we have 20 percent 20 percent of two naira fifty cover yeah twenty percent of of okay twenty five naira and twenty percent of uh, fifty naira okay so for fifty much of fifty okay we have that will be 0.20 times 2 naira 50 cover. 0.20 times 2 naira 50 cover. 0.20 times 2 naira 50 cover. That's 0.5, okay. So 0 naira 50 cover. Okay, so this is going to be uh, 0.20 times 25. That is 5 naira. Five naira, okay, and zero point two zero times fifty. That is ten naira, okay. This is equal to ten naira. Okay. So it means that this cost is you can find this cost here, okay. Then at the end of it, this will not be mean that material cost. We are going to take it off material cost, okay. This is going to be two naira, okay. At the end of the day, two naira. So we take this off too from here. Five naira from here. It's gonna give us twenty. Okay. Twenty naira. So we take this ten naira also from here because it's a part of this cost. Okay. Based on the question, take this ten naira from here. So we're gonna be left with forty. Okay, good. So that's that and that. So let us go ahead now and uh Determine the prime cost, okay, and uh, for the batches, and also determine the quoted price by batches, okay, and determine the cost price per unit, okay. So let us go ahead and do that, okay. So we have the cost already broken down, so let us go ahead and do the batch. So let's do the arrangement here. So, uh Cost sheet, let's call this the cost sheet, okay? Cost sheet. Okay, we have batches. Okay, we have 50. We have 500. We have 1000. Okay, so for material cost, okay? Material. Material. We have two Nera. Let's put the Nera sign. Nera. Nera, okay? Suppose two naira to produce this, okay. Uh, it will cost uh, 20 naira for material, 
to cost uh this will also cost uh 40 there okay then for label label we're going to incur six naira we incur 16 naira then we're going to incur 120 naira okay then for direct expenses direct expenses direct expenses we're going to incur zero naira 50 cobo 50 cobo then we have so zero we have five naira we have ten naira okay so let's add this up to give us eight naira fifty cobo to give us eighty five naira and this can give us one seventy so this is the prime cost okay this is the prime cost as for us to determine the total cost now so this for the first one uh question the solution is one error so that's one error so, so sorry for the first that is eight naira fifty cobo for the fifty batches it's five naira for the cost of five hundred and one seventy for the cost of one thousand by so let's look at the second question before the time runs out so we're two to total production cost by batches of the total production cost so let us consider the overhead so to get the total production cost add overhead overhead cost is uh, 30 naira 30 naira we have 30 we also have 60 okay so this is going to give us 230 230 this is going to give us uh 115 okay this is going to give us 11 naira 50 cobo okay so that is a uh, that is the total production cost total production cost okay production cost okay so we've done that this is number two so number three you are told that determine the quoted price by batches using 20 percent now you can see that we have the cost here so we have our margin our margin let's do the work in here our margin equals to 20 percent okay workings so we have to convert this one back to markup markup okay so since we know that uh profit equals to selling price minus cost price okay 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 so in this case our margin is 20 percent okay so uh this is going to be 20 all over on the which same as p all over sp okay so if our p for those who don't understand if our private profit is p and sp so let us just insert that if 20 this is 20 this is 100 minus cp okay so then uh 20 minus 100 equals to minus cp so minus 80 equals to minus cp okay so in this case cp equals to what 80 okay then that will be if we're going to calculate the markup now we're going to transfer back to markup which is equal to p all over cp since we now know our cp that will be 20 all over 80 okay so 20 over 80 let's convert it to percentage 0 0 2 year 1 and 2 year 4 4 year 1 year 25 that will be 25 percent okay that is 25 percent okay so we have our margin markup markup equals to 25 25 percent okay so we are able, able to convert back to markup, okay? So we cannot use that on this total production co uh, cost, okay? So this will now be uh, profit equals to, this will now be 0 0.25 times 11.50. So let us use it, the percentage that we've got in there to get the markup, to get the profit, okay? So at 25%, at 25%, that is 0 0.25 multiplied by 11. Point fifty. That's two nine eight seven five two point eight seven five point let's say two point eight eight okay. So the next one four point two five multiplied by one one five okay. That's two eight point eight. Let's say two eight point eight approximately. So we had that to it. Then the next one zero point two five multiplied by two thirty. That's fifty seven point five. Let's say approximately that's 58. Okay, so let's all add up 8, 8, 2, 13, 9, 0, 3. Uh, so this 20 point is out. This is 8 point. This is 13. This is 4. This is 1 for 3.3. This is 1 for the 3.3. This is 2.80. That is 8, 3, 4, 14.38. Okay, for point thirty this is one for three point three. This two eight eight. So this two eight eight one for three point three and fourteen point 
38. So we'll go ahead in the next video to finish up this question. Thank you very much for your time and God bless you.